Nope, this isn't true. If anyone says better tools means better art, then they are lying. Firstly, knowledge is power, so not understanding how to utilize your tools can put another obstacle in your artistic path. But also, have you ever heard of the saying that the master painter can paint with any brush? Well, it holds true. It holds water. I feel when we start out on our artistic journey, it's very easy to feel that in order to become quote-unquote professional, we need to invest in professional quality tools. Whether that be the whole experience expensive ass spectrum of Copics to slapping down buco books for a license to Adobe Photoshop. But I guarantee you, the moment you buy that set to receiving a confirmation email, your art will still remain the same. Now, granted, I think it's very natural to want to achieve that level the shiny goal of being at the same level of the artists you admire and look up to. There's an amount of eagerness that sometimes is hand in hand with impatience of wanting to get there, to quote, get good. So in order to do that, many of us slide into the mentality of quality tools will in fact ensure us quality professional art. I used to carry this kind of mentality. And you know what it did for me? Lean in real close, I'll tell you. I'm gonna whisper to you. You know what this mentality did for me? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. At least, nothing productive, anyway. In fact, it held me back. I remember thinking, Oh, I would draw, but I don't have the right pencil for it, or the right paper, because the paper I have smudges, and the pencil just isn't the pencil that I like to draw with, and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which, at the end of the day, also came as excuses, 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 excuses. And it wasn't just drawing, you guys. This type of mentality seeped into my other creative processes, from, like, making content, to being a creator, this mentality really just put a damper on my creative processes of really believing that once I have that shiny new thing, that shiny new tool that I am gunning for, my art will suddenly just poof and be better. And actually, this really dampened my process so much so that I remember a few short years ago, back when I was still working retail, I had a goal, a physical goal, that once I purchase a huge, high-quality, $14,000 silver draft computer, a machine that contained the capabilities to run and render things at Pixar movie-level productions. Uh, sorry, backwards. A machine that could run the capability... Uh, a machine that contained the capabilities to run and render things at Pixar movie production levels. There we go. Thank you, dyslexia, for flipping words for no reason. I ain't going to cut that out. We're just going to keep rolling with it. But once I had that, that suddenly my animation levels would suddenly be poof, just better. Everything would be better when, well, <laughs> In reality, that's not at all how things work. The tools we amass don't contain some magical genie who'll bend to our every whim and make our dreams come true. And, uh, well, sorry to be the wet blanket about it. Then again, my father is considered a wet wool, so I guess it comes to me naturally. Kind of runs in the family. But yes, better tools do not, in fact, equal better art. What they do instead is provide certain conveniences that other tools simply may not be able to provide. The older I get, the more I start to lean towards digital art. I just prefer the convenience of being able to warp perspective, liquify tool, control Z, layers, all of that fun little, all those little fun little quirks that digital art to me brings. Yet, this isn't the case with my sister. 
She, on the other hand, prefers traditional. And I even remember hearing her say, Ah, I could have done this so much faster traditionally than digitally. And honestly, it's because she knew the tools and by girl or dream, she sure is right. I'm just, I'm always in awe at the levels of her skills. So allow me to shamelessly promote my sister here. There she is. There's her Instagram. Don't worry. I'm going to take it away, but it'll be in the description. So please give her a look. I love her artworks. I have a couple of her prints. She is just mwah, chef's kiss. Fantastic. So yes, I've always liked how she would just light up expressing excitement for a future medium, an art book, whatever it was to invest in because she fundamentally understood what I'm getting is going to help me achieve blank. She could pinpoint her strengths and her weaknesses, and she had the knowledge of how can she go about it to improve her craft and what was something to invest in in order to assist her getting there. So watching her, I learned there are primarily two types of tools. One that can help you save time, creating a convenience to produce something a little bit faster, and the other that'll expand upon your knowledge of the craft. No tool that I know of will abruptly just increase your skills. Sadly, we're not an EV where if you're handed a stone, we'll just suddenly evolve. As artists, I feel like we're more like Caterpie, the little caterpillar. It's so very easy to gaze up at the sky and see a vast array of gorgeous, magnificent butterflies who are the artists we aspire to be. We, as grounded caterpillars, sit there and ponder how in the world does that individual, that amazing artist, make great strides in their craft? How do I even get there? How do I get my wings? We're so focused on becoming butterflies. We forget that there's a cocoon stage in between. And you want to know why we tend to forget that middle stage? Why we want to magically poof into butterflies from caterpillars? It's because the middle stage, that little cocoon stage we tend to forget, is all about struggle. It's all about the struggle. And inherently, I believe nobody wants to do that. We don't usually like to struggle. I mean, even I still have my fair share of struggles that some days I, I just, I don't want to deal with, especially when it pertains to art. Thus, a reason why impatience tends to prod and irk my ire, if you will. So, because many of us don't want to struggle or deal with the hassle of struggling, it's very easy to put merit into the false notion of Better tools equals better art. And that just isn't true. Not in the slightest. This lovely, cute Albedo chibi you see me drawing, I'm presenting a condensed, sped-up version for your viewing pleasure. And... Here's a fun fact, I actually started drawing this as a traditional sketch, which initially began on May 4th of this year. And I didn't start this digitally until May 22nd. And finally, on the 17th of June, I finally finished it. Ugh, but why am I telling you this? Well, during all that time in between, during all those moments of like breaks and not touching it and and just letting it sit for a while and not getting on top of it and, and actually working it out, well, it's because I struggled. Actually, by the time of my second recording, trying to draw this chibi, and it was just, I was just in the line art process, I could feel myself losing steam. And I was struggling to get it done. 
because part of me wanted to get it done faster. I wanted to cut corners and I was a little bit anxious about how in the world am I gonna draw a background? And I just really was hoping for, man, if only there was like a tool I could use that could just make this so much easier. Ugh, but my process felt agonizingly slow. Yet I pushed on. I stayed the course and followed through. And sure enough, by the end of it, it turned out for the better. I actually remember thinking, holy crap, am I done? Have I made it? Without skimping out on detail? Yeah, I did. Even though it felt like I would never get there. I achieved my goal to experiment and expand upon my knowledge of the digital medium. So maybe next time, my, my next digital piece will go a little bit smoother and a little bit faster. All because I took the time on this one. So yeah, sadly there is no tool or magic brush that will create instant Da Vinci levels of amazing art. However, just because that doesn't exist doesn't mean there isn't real magic to the craft. You need to utilize what you know and explore what you don't know to really discover those magical possibilities. Whichever tool you use will assist you to get there, but it's not gonna do everything for you. It's not your butler, it's not your maid, it's not gonna suddenly magically get up and be like, oh, it's all right, you can just sit back, hang, you know, take 10 and everything. I'm going to bust this piece out for you. Just absolutely gorgeous. Like, have you, has anybody ever seen um, iRobot, I think, with Will Smith, where the robot was explaining to Will Smith's character how he had a dream and he, I, st I love this visual, but he like sat down and he took a pen and he was just scribbling back and forth and he was printing out a picture with a pen just perfectly right then and there of what his dream was about with Will Smith's character. I really feel like we get sucked into that mentality that some tools will be like that robot from the movie. It'll just magically print things out for us without us having to lift a finger and no, 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 no. That's not going to happen. Don't get caught up in the fantasy of once I get blank or once I have debt, that all of my art skills will just level up as soon as I acquire them. No, this isn't an RPG. We can't be given a rare candy and ascend to the next level. We get there on our own. We get good on our own at our own pace. Tools help provide a means to work smarter, not harder. All right? So thank you guys so much for watching. I do have to say, do stick around for some fun facts on this piece that I'm just dying to share with you. So, and then you'll learn at the end of this video how many agonizing hours it took me to finish this fantastic piece, which I'm excited for, I'm excited to share you. I'm just, oh, this thing was so fun to do. And um, it actually inspired me to maybe do some future Genshin characters. So be on the lookout for that. I just might have some more in the works anyway. But remember everybody, be awesome, be you. Akemi, out.